G'day, I'm Al McGlashan and welcome to Club Marine TV. Now we're talking about one of my favourites, Marlin. Now Marlin are an oceanic wanderer and the best way to find them is by trolling because this allows you to cover as much ground as possible. What makes Marlin so exciting is because they jump. To see them coming up out of the water, jumping, it is absolute magic and it's why every angler put them at the very top of their list. There are three species of Marlin black, blue and striped that are found in Australian waters, which are of course are part of the billfish family, which have another three species, which are sailfish, spearfish and swordfish. Marlin tackle has changed a lot in recent years. We used to fish light line to make it sporting. Now it's all about looking after the fish and it's all about heavy tackle. So we want to catch the fish as quick as we can, let it go and catch another one. There are three styles of trolling that work really well. You can use lures, you can use dead bait, or skip baits as they're normally called, which just bounce on the top, or you can live bait. These are the three main techniques, but they vary from species and of course sort of scenario. Lures is a great way to find fish. You cover the most ground. The problem is with blacks and stripes is you do have a tendency that they do fall off. Blue marlin, which are really aggressive, tend to stay on, and it works really well for them. So skip baiting is about using natural bait and they bounce across the top. This is really great for covering the ground where you know there's a bit of bait. There's one technique that matches the two. It's called switch baiting. So what you do is you run two lures or teasers with no hooks in them. When the fish comes up, you pitch a live bait or a dead bait or skip bait down to it. It's a real teamwork to get it to work, but I tell you what, it is the most exciting way to do it when it works. Marlin fishing is very technical or far more than most people think. So when you're using lures, all these lures need to be working. They need to be splashing and popping up on the surface. Otherwise, the fish literally just ignore them. Same with skip baiting and even live baiting. You've got to rig these baits so they're actually working and look enticing. So the right technique or finding the fish, there's a couple of tips I can offer. Firstly, use your sander. The sander is vital for showing you what's going on underneath. Not only do you mark the bait schools, but you can also mark the marlin. Go old school, look for the birds. Because in areas like tropical waters, if you see a gannet or a frigate up high, there's a good chance there's a blue marlin underneath. Use your sea surface temperature charts to find the right water. Marlin generally like clean water. It can be clean and green, but clean and blue is the ultimate. So the one thing that's changed marlin fishing is that it's all catch and release. And there's one hook that plays an important role in that, and that's a circle hook. So if you're using natural bait, so you're using live bait or dead bait, you have to use circle hooks these days because not only will it give you a better hookup rate, it's also a lot better for the fish. And you know what? Seeing those fish swim off so you can have another go at them, catch them again, is as good as it gets. <laughs>